There I was, just analyzing the trailer for my next big Ron video, when all of a sudden I received an email from Void Interactive. This was just kind of out of the blue, so I wasn't really sure what the hell this was. I reached out to the dev for comments and I was like, yo, uh, can I show this off to the people? Because it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here that we've kind of already seen. He was like, y yeah, that's, that's, that's a press kit. That's what it's for. Oh, oh, oh. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing for this video, is just talking and showing off everything that came with the press kit. So let's get into it, huh? So here's what's going on. I'm gonna have the pictures going in the background, and while that's going on, I'm gonna be reading off a statement that's kind of long. So if it goes too long, then I'll start playing some gameplay in the background. <clears throat> Ready or not fact sheet. About. At the core of Ready or Not, Void Interactive has aimed to develop an intense, brutal, yet fun tactical first-person shooter, commanding a squad of AI teammates, teaming up with your friends in co-op, or playing competitive multiplayer modes. Ready or Not will task the player to confront cruel situations set in a twisted facsimile of the United States West Coast region. Ready or Not presents complex SWAT situations that the player can approach in a variety of ways, be it an aggressive assault, all guns blazing, or a quiet flanking maneuver to coerce suspects without any fatalities, Ron, ready or not, leaves the discussion making to the players, allowing unique situations to unfold for each playthrough and each playing style. Immersing the player into the world of SWAT means that brutal realities will be shown. The destruction of normally peaceful areas around the city comes with a great cost. Innocent lives are caught in the crossfire, and Void Interactive has set out to represent this factor of life. Common areas such as gas stations and clubs, but also schools and city streets, are areas for the players to restore order to chaos and bring peace to balance. Balance. Great care has been placed into the player's control. With fluid leaning systems and incremental walking speeds, PC gamers will be able to feel the benefits of the console analog sticks, but still have that sharpness of the mouse, resulting in fierce and adrenaline pumping firefights. The care and detail that has gone into the control also gives the players a sense of stealth control, allowing them to appropriately maneuver into a correct position to execute their plans. For example, a player may want to quietly and slowly walk to a door to use a mirror gun, camera on a stick, <clears throat> Optiwan to observe the room beyond the door. Another important part of the player control is related to doors. The development team at Void has placed a great detail into how a player may interact with a door. While a door can be a simple task of being opened and closed, there are many ways to approach them when the situation calls for it. In a dramatic rush, one may kick the door open with brutal strength or blow it up. On the other hand, when approaching with complete silence, one may choose to lockpick and open a door and incrementally open it to stealthfully observe the content of the room. Void Interactive's development team knew that immersion even of simple things like walking and opening doors can be expanded to fulfill the player's experience to a new level, offering great amounts of control. Still with the simple and easy to use feel for all players of any skill level. Key features, single player co-op PVP multiplayer modes, immersive player controls, allowing great freedom for player choice, large library of lethal non-lethal firearms, objects and gadgets that creates endless approaches and solutions to situations, an atmospheric world rich with details, beautiful graphics, so that was the first statement. There are two in total, but before I get into the next one, I'm going to show off the clips that were also in this file. These clips might seem familiar to you because I believe they were also on their Twitter and Instagram, but the difference between the ones that are there and the ones that I have is that mine are in 4K. So here we go. So now I am going to read you the next statement while showing off the rest of the pictures that are in the press kit. And to my understanding, this is basically why they decided to create the game, it seems. <clears throat> 
Hearing the cries for a modern realistic tactical shooter, Void Interactive banded together, established officially in New Zealand in 2016, to create an immersive, brutal, but ultimately fun tactical shooter. The game, ready or not, is the first video game being produced by Void Interactive that aims to deliver an ultimate experience to not only hardcore tactical players, but video game players of all kinds. A part of Void Interactive's aim and deep core value is to deliver the kind of video game that can touch on subjects others may want to avoid, but in a respectful and professional manner that can be enjoyed by many. Interesting. What started with a small group of four experienced talent, Void Interactive has expanded, using professionals from all over the world, while also looking into the modding scene and pulling talent from there. <laughs> Easy street. <laughs> Allowing Void to always stay true to its roots of its goal, which is to create a fun tactical shooter that breathes new life into the genre, while respecting the foundations of the genre. Void Interactive's affinity for its community can be seen with its low budget, yet successful making approach on Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. The positive reception to the trailers and development blogs has allowed Void Interactive to reach many worldwide fans, video game news websites, and popular YouTuber streamers. A pre-order campaign followed the gameplay trailer for Ready or Not to help boost development funds to complete Void's vision of Ron. While pre-order campaigns and early funding by fans is by no way a new idea, Void found it imperative to only open this option once a solid game was built. That only required expansion. Instead of building a foundation and running the risk of not getting to a stage that players can play. And that's the end of the statements that were in the press kit. They also sent me a 4K trailer. This will be great for the analysis video. But anyways, what did you guys think? I think I remember them saying that they were going to send out these press kits to people that they deemed as news media or big influencers, and frankly I'm shocked that they even considered me. Like I'm not even a blip on the radar because of how small my channel is, but Uncle Durag is glad that they even thought about me. So thanks Void for the cool insight. And with that, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye